In a vibrant industrial sector such as ours, we produce almost everything which adds to the petrochemical and oil industry. These businesses continue to produce copious amounts of waste. In this week's Keeping It Green segment, G. Loren Gomez speaks with representatives of a company who handles the proper disposal of these hazardous materials. With over 25 years in the business of environmental work, Green Engineering is a contracting and consulting environmental engineering company. Dave Jacob founded the company in 1997 as a certified hazardous materials manager with accreditation from the Institute of Hazardous Materials Management in Washington, DC. When people hear the word green engineering, they tend to associate it with environmental work, um, cleaning the streets and trimming the trees and cutting lawns. No, we are engineers. Um, we apply science and technology to assist our clients with conforming to the environmental standards, international standards and local standards. Consulting is conducted at the head office in Cascade, where they deal with clients from the petrochemical industry, commerce, private sector, alongside the EMA and the government to do projects like site remediation to clean up the environment. These projects included restoration and removal of asbestos in the Red House, Queen's Hall, and in other countries like Parimaribo in Suriname. The Treatment Storage and Disposal Facility, TSDF, at Freeport was the first locally designed and operating facility in the region to service over 16 major generators of hazardous waste streams in Trinidad and Tobago. They become hazardous when they are not properly managed. What we do is to step into the middle of the waste generation and the distribution into the environment if it happens, if it is poorly managed, to create this buffer to avoid or prevent uh, hazardous materials going into the environment. The process of incineration is common and they also bury it in the landfill, but only under special conditions. What we would have done is to design a treatment formulation and what that does is to complex all these hazardous toxic um, mercuries, the heavy metals in particular, some hydrocarbons. And after fixing these toxic elements into the matrix of this substance, what we do is to solidify it in ordinary Portland cement. This is done so that there's no possibility for leaching of these toxic constituents into the environment. They are hoping that the EMA and the government agencies would enforce more regulations to ensure that these hazardous materials are disposed of responsibly. I am Gio Loren Gomez, keeping it green for TGT News. I love the look and smell of litter. From this huge pile, I can see that many people also find it attractive. Yes, Charlie. Litter is indeed attractive. It attracts roaches, flies and mosquitoes, and rats. My pets. Don't be a litter bug, Charlie. Do the right thing. Don't litter.